Wanted to bring it into the studios, the Bassmaster Studio, sponsored by Marathon, to the screen of knowledge to show you a little bit for folks at home who may not know what the different types of grass at Lake Gunnersville, what it offers, and how these anglers are picking it apart. And we've talked about a couple different ones. We've talked about the bank grass and that kind of uh, matted vegetation that Jamie Hartman's flipped. We've talked about eelgrass and milfoil. And when you look at the milfoil, if you can see on the screen how it comes up in stalks and different clumps, we've seen that at Champlain, other places like that where Seth Fighter has flipped and it kind of comes up and you can flip the little holes in it or beside those big clumps and those fish position differently in it as we kind of give you a 3D underwater of how fish maybe will position underneath that milfoil and those clumps where it's easier to target whereas like a eelgrass it's long long stretchers on Gunnersville at times and the only difference in the eelgrass is maybe the height that it grows. Sometimes there's taller stalks than others. And then it doesn't grow nearly as deep. So there's a certain point that's 6 to 13 where it stops growing. But you can throw some baits like a lipless crankbait through it. We saw some guys on the shad spawn this morning, that group, that cluster of four or five anglers that were very successful, they made hay early with moving baits around and above that eelgrass and some of that other types of grass mixed in. Then the third type of grass we mentioned, we've seen Jamie Hartman catch a couple, a four pounder especially, flipping as well. And some of that matted vegetation, a mixture of vegetation up towards the banks, where sometimes when it gets a little windier in the afternoon like it's supposed to, that could end up being a deal, especially which bank it's targeted on. So a lot of different types of grass at Gunnersville. Eelgrass has been predominant. Where you can find milfoil, it's been key hotspots. But will those milfoil areas rep uh, you know, replenish each and every day? Or will guys figure out how to target those fish in the eelgrass. That'll be the question we answer the next few days with the changing weather conditions we have.